BT has created a festival of science around BT Young Scientist and Technology Exhibition and we have shows every day for visitors and students that attend the event and we wanted to bring business into the world of BT Young Scientist and Technology. So we created BT Mindshare event against the backdrop of innovation, invention and a focus on a future enabled by science and technology. We wanted to tap into that. Our intention is to be thought provoking so that customers and businesses leave the event inspired but with new ideas about how to advance their own businesses. Artificial intelligence is a technology that is now maturing in business. Uh, we've got a, a boom that kicked off about five or six years ago and it's now at the stage where large companies, small companies, medium-sized companies can take advantage of it and use it to improve their operations. AI is going to be an incredibly powerful technology and it means that if you are in any industry you'll need to look at the products that you're bringing to market, how you bring them to market, how you optimise your manufacturing, how you optimise your supply chains. It will require a wholesale rethink of how you do business. What it should do is unlock lots of new sources of profits and the very smart analysts and consultancies believe it might increase profit growth by as much as 35 or even 40 percent by 2035. BT is a user, a developer and a supplier of AI and we're also a thought leader in AI research. We're using AI in pockets across our organisation today. We're using it in our networks to help us plan the deployment of our infrastructure as we build out our 4G, 5G and fibre networks. We're using it to detect uh, cyber issues across, our, across that network and we're helping our engineers out in the field, all 20,000 of them, get to where they need to faster. We expect to use AI more and more over the coming years and we're being very cautious about how we do that. We're going to use it to reassure our customers that we're doing more than what is just legally required of us to protect the data we're using about them and the decisions we're making using that. And finally, we're thinking through how we reassure our workforce that we're going to be using AI to augment them, not replace them, and that we're committed to developing AI skills in our workforce. AI is going to bring a lot of changes to the workplace. On the one hand, it's going to give employees superpowers. That means they can be more productive, they can do more interesting things, they can stop doing the mundane tasks that perhaps occupy a lot of their day. But in amongst those changes, we have to make sure that we realise this will be changed for the way in which people work. And so a second set of impacts will be a shifting in responsibilities, of roles and about how we interact with our employees.